All right, everybody. Today on Pinchao's Garage, we're gonna learn how to do the rack and pinion removal, and we're gonna give you guys a recap. So let's get to work, everybody, because this is Pinchao's Garage. the noise they're working on the trees right now but we're gonna work so for the recap first we're gonna show you what we've done and what we're going to do so what we have done is remove the engine remove the whole front end we remove the lower subframe control arms the cross member the front bumper support um, we did a DIY on how to remove the rear beam we're working on that still Next is the wire harness removal, which is down the road. Uh, today we're going to remove in the rack and pinion. I got some advice from Ray. Uh, and then later we're going to probably do the uh, brake booster, the master cylinder. All the lines have to come out. Uh, all this has to come out. I mean, this bay has to be completely, completely gutted uh, for the paint job. For the first, the shaving of the bay, then the paint job, then the rest of the car so oh there's a lot to do but for the recap I'll show you guys all oh, we also showed you how to remove the struts front and rear we did all that we did a DIY in removing the dash we did a DIY in removing the interior headliner all the carpet I mean this thing is as gutted almost as it can get for a mark two we're almost to the complete removal the next one is also the windows, the front and rear windows have to come out because we got to look for any type of rust on the body. We got to remove all the door sills, sand anything down. We're going to do some more. We're going to do the rust repair soon. You'll see right here there's a little bit of surface rust. We got to do all that. We're going to remove the rear bumpers, take out the exhaust, uh, remove the door handles. Mirrors, obviously, we had to cut them off because they were broken, so we sort of did all that. But we've got we come a long way. We've come a very long way, and then once this is all done, putting it all back together is going to be so much fun. So, the rack and pinion. Now, once you remove the actual subframe, rack and pinion is actually pretty easy to remove. So. For the rack and pinion to get come off of here, you guys need to remove the um, the shift linkage number one, as per Ray said. There is a, I believe, it looks like a 13 millimeter right here. Has to be unbolted from the rack, and then this boot. He says you got to take it off from the top. from down below, up, oh, actually down below, there it is, and then there's a bolt right there, looks like a 13, unbolt that and the rack and pinion comes right off, let's see if he's right, okay, so I got a 13 wrench right here, so it's a 13 for the uh, steering rack, I mean for the shift linkage to come off. I only spot 113 so far. Oh no, there's two more in the back. Uh, these will be no longer needed, FYI. So these bolts are completely useless once they come out because we're not going to be using these. extension here and a ratchet so we'll do that in just a moment same over here 
So the two are back here, if you guys can see that, there's two 13 millimeters. Now this is all needed to to shave your base, so all this has to come out because you're going to need access to grinding, cutting, and removing as much of this stuff off as possible. Some stuff is actually needed to stay in, so we're going to leave a lot of stuff in here. Move that out of the way. And now the 13 that's right here on the rack. Has to come all the way out as per Ray said. Oh, it's got a 13 nut on the back of it too. So let me grab that. Okay, so. I know I say so a lot, so annoying. But just what I do. Okay. lose your nut and bolt keep those two together and it should just wiggle right out there's the rack and pinion removal uh, we're gonna cut all this out we're no longer gonna need the shift linkage we're no longer gonna need this exhaust so that all is gonna come out but well, that's it guys that's how you remove a mark II rack and pinion pretty straightforward very impressive how easy that was. Uh, we're going to clean this whole rack and pinion up. Uh, we got new bushings for it too. So when the new uh, steering, uh, when the new, not new, but when the suffering goes in and all that, it's all going to have all new, everything new. Alright, thanks for watching this episode of PTL's Garage with the Mark II rack and pinion. I appreciate you guys and love you guys, but I got to get back to work. That's a simple DIY. The next thing we're going to do is the brake booster and all this later. Alright? Thanks for watching.